Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. A question that has been popping up in the comment sections of this channel almost as soon as I started doing these tutorials is how do you start out with a thumb pick? The short answer always was not by playing Tommy Emanuel songs because you need a fair amount of technique to have a decent chance. At the same time I did realize that the focus lately has shifted to really difficult songs. Even on my Patreon page, I often got the question when some easier stuff was coming. So why not address those two problems at the same time? This is the first video in a series on starting out with a thumb pick. All the songs in this series will, hopefully, be classified as easy, giving you the room you need to work on the picking hand. For lesson PDF files, early access and sound slice files, do check out the Patreon site. The link is down below in the description. Starting out with a thumb pick can be a challenge for many, or should I say it will be a challenge for many. I won't deny the fact that at first it felt awkward for me too. And even if I succeed in explaining all of this clearly, that awkward feeling will still be there for you too, since this little piece of equipment requires a considerable change in your picking hand no matter your previous technical background, be it playing with fingers or with a flat pick. I hope that by now I have learned enough about this subject to guide you through the first stages of the journey. The point of this series is to build up your technique up to the level needed to play, for example, the easier Tommy Emanuel tunes. Once you get to that level, all the music that lies within reach of your newly acquired technical abilities will no doubt be the only motivation you need to keep going. In this first video I won't be playing a lot, but I will be going over the first step in the process, choosing a thumb pick. So what thumb pick should you use? There are loads of options out there, but availability might be an issue. When I started out, the Dunlop range was basically the only thing you could buy in stores. But Tommy's effect on the popularity of a fingerstyle guitar has made quite a difference. You now have a lot more options than 10 or 15 years ago. Fred Kelly offers a wide range of thumb picks like the Speed Picks, these ones with the small picking blade, which are the only ones I ever tried. They also have the Delrin Slick Range or the Bumblebee Tear Picks. All of these picks come in light, medium or heavy variations. Then there is the well-known range by Dunlop, also available in different sizes and materials. Herco Thumb Picks is another option with a particular large picking blade being the most obvious feature. For a while I even tried some brandless ones just picking up different types whenever I could find them to see what works best for me. I even tried this thumb pick made by Boss but I can't play a single song with it. What were they thinking with this? I, I don't understand. The type and brand of pick you will feel comfortable with after a while depends on the size of your hands. After extensive testing I ultimately ended up with the Dunlop thumb picks mainly because they come in large size as well. I couldn't get along with most other brands because they were usually way too small for me. They would often slide off my thumb while playing or they would simply break usually along this line. The thing you should look for is a thumb pick that offers enough tension and grip to remain in place while playing, while at the same time making sure it does not cut off blood circulation to the rest of your thumb. If the tip of your thumb feels like it has been in the freezer after a practice session, then you probably need to look for another size. Using the wrong size may cause something called cold I have played with a large size Dunlop thumb pick as it seemed like the best fit, but there were still issues. I will for example still break quite a few of these picks. I did notice a difference between uh, the type of plastic used and the shell ones, these ones seemed to be a bit more flexible than the standard white picks. 
If a Dunlop product specialist ever hears this, he might fall off his chair laughing, but I have the sincere impression that the shell picks are a bit more flexible than the white ones. Mm -hmm. I tend to break a lot of the white picks and very little of the shell ones, mm -hmm. strengthening my belief that they are simply a bit more flexible. The white ones are almost 100% guaranteed to give me a cold this point I'm pretty much begging for a copyright strike. Now, if you find yourself in between sizes, medium is too small, large is too big, you can always get creative. Get some water boiling and use a pair of tweezers to hold the thumb pick in the steam. As soon as the plastic softens up, bend it open slightly, put it down and let it cool. <sighs> definitely, definitely let it cool down before you put it back on your thumb. And there you go, your own custom thumb pick size. With some experience, you should be able to get the size exactly right for your needs. This is not something I invented. Solo acoustic guitar pioneer Jacques Stotsom, fellow Belgian, and someone who will definitely be featured on the channel, has been using and promoting this method for over 30 years. There are also players who get creative on the other end, like taking a Dunlop XL thumb pick and sanding down the massive picking blade to a size that works better for them. Also, as a side note, usually when I do these mostly spoken videos, I tend to make quite a few versions before I end up with something I'm comfortable posting. But I sometimes put these early versions up on my Patreon page so I can check the response. After doing this, a few of my patrons reached out with a few tips and I'll share them here with you. Ian emailed me from Canada with a suggestion to check out Pro Pick Thumb Picks. I had never heard of them, but Ian pointed out that they have a very simple but effective way to fit the different picks around your thumb. The picking blade is made out of plastic, like most other thumb picks, but the part that grips around your thumb is made out of metal. This allows you to easily shape the pick around your thumb. They also offer different types of thumb picks with large, standard or small picking blades. They are not paying me, nor Ian, I think, I think, but they seem like a really cool addition to the lineup. And then there was Mathieu from France who posted on our Discord server about Black Mountain thumb picks. And again, these picks tackle the problem of getting the grip around your thumb right without getting the cold. No! These picks are like regular guitar picks, but the part that clamps down on your thumb uses a spring to push down. You get to choose between different pick shapes and you get to cho the choice between different spring tensions. Although I've grown into how these Dunlop picks feel, I'm definitely going to give these a try, especially because they offer a jazz shaped pick as a thumb pick. These Dunlop jazz picks are my favorite electronic guitar picks, so maybe these thumb picks can bridge the gap I still feel between a thumb pick and a flat pick. Anyway, once you go through all the options and you get your first thumb pick, it's time to start using it. I would recommend using the thumb pick on either the thumbnail, the nail bed, or the area between the nail bed and the knuckle. Putting the thumb pick closer to the tip of the thumb will give a greater risk of it slipping away while playing, so you'll have to play lightly. Moving it more towards or even over the knuckle makes for a harder to control picking motion, at least to me. As always, feel free to prove me wrong. So there you go, the first video of the series completely dedicated to the possibilities when it comes to choosing or crafting the right thumb pick for you. In the next video, we will take a close look at how you should position your picking hand and with that information, we should be able to tackle the first exercises. I hope to see you there.